Right folks, it's a bitterly cold Easter holiday weekend Back on with the Corsa I haven't been using it that much, I was using it a fair bit locally But kind of been sidetracked with other things We're going to give it uh, a full buff and polish up Hoover out the inside of it, give it a real good clean valet inside and out And we're also going to change the front and rear bumpers and the steering wheel on it as well Oh, and the coil pack. I'm going to go and do that. So, plenty to get on with. The products I'll be using on the Corsa. We have got some G101 for the interior to clean all the plastics and fabrics. Some Evo 3, which is a rougher cutting compound. Evo 1, which is a fine cut. Might run the Evo 3 and then the Evo 1 over it gently. Using the buffer and some water. Go nice and easy. And some... Auto smart carnauba wax. I'm going to say I'm not a valeter or a detailer or anything like that. Just looking to get a good shiny finish on the car. And I've done this a few times on other cars and it's worked well. So let's see if we can change it from faded horrible pink to shiny bright red. I think we'll be able You can see how severely faded all the paintwork is on it. If you look inside of the door it's here, that's what it's meant to look like. Yeah, it's supposed to be bright flame red, but box all flame pink, but we've got dirt in the door cards and that there, and the seat needs a scrub as well, so we'll do that. We'll empty all these dusty floor mats out it and get the hoover into it. Get some G101 and about all the dirty bits. Yeah, drag it right down everything. You can lift the seats forward as well, but yeah, there's like... I think I've been chucking wheels and everything in the back of here, but once it's all hoovered, we'll get the G101 onto that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it. Dra <laughs> just drag it all down it. And what are you putting back here? Wheels and all sorts of stuff, and using it as a van. <laughs> Why are you using it? <laughs> yeah, just drag it down the seat. That's it. I'm going rows. You must have asked for that. Uh, the door card cloth is pretty manky, so everything's just getting hit. Everything, because it's all dirty. A lot dirtier than when I got it, to be fair. I haven't done a lot of any cleaning on it thus far. I'll we'll just let some of that soak in. It's not that strong, this, the G101, because you can dilute it. And you can use it like very strong, but we don't really need to do that. So like under the back seat, so yeah, it needs to be cleaned out in there as well. You can see with this stuff, the dirt literally bleeds out the plastic. Anyway. What's that? What's that? Uh, I've got no idea. Oh yeah, what a difference. Daniel just found the door off the GoPro 10. I've been using this bit of insulating tape to hold the battery in since Christmas. Apparently I was lying in the back of the Corsa. There we go. Knew it'd turn up at some point. Although to be honest, I thought we lost it with the Scrap Cavalier. Uh, down in <laughs> Carlisle, that was the last day I saw it. Huh. Right, that was the last day it was for you. Has it been in your pocket for three months? No. <laughs> I get in right in there over 20 pence. I drag it down the carpet and order. You're probably better off doing the side that you're on and then coming round to this side instead of leaning over. As you can see, Bob is helping. Alright, right, that's our interior. Had a quick valet. Got the oily marks off over I'm going to fit the steering wheel later on. I put the dash plastics back around it. I haven't put them back in because I was going to do the cruise control on this actually. Yeah, but I need to go and tidy the garage out so to find the rest of the cruise control. So, yeah. But now the important bit is go and give it a wash and a good cut and polish. I don't think I've washed this at all yet. <laughs> Yeah, we washed it that day in the rain, yeah, that was it, but we lost the footage because the GoPro broke. 
Looks well, good when it's wet. Give the GSI a wash and blast off as well. Won't be long till this is coming down the workshop to get the engine filled out it, new starter motor fitted, new back plates on it, some new shock absorbers as well, which I'm very much looking forward to, but it's a big task, so need to get some other stuff out of the way first. First job, we've got some EVO 3 cutting compound. It'll be fine. Right, to get that tip. We just hit it with some liquid clay bar. We're gonna rinse all that off now. Oh, wow. Rain shower, and that's it hard. Clay bar, liquid. Don't do that. <laughs> that's it had clay bar, liquid, G3 and G1 on the bonnet, well EVO 3 and EVO 1 on the bonnet we can add some polish next we give the bonnet a dry and then we have one tub of carnauba wax see how shiny this bonnet's going to go once that's on it hopefully very that's it, doesn't need to be that's fine, doesn't need to be super dry just so it's not soaking apply some Carnuba wax to our bonnet. Voxel towel. Wait, hey, start taking the Carnuba wax off now. See what finish we've got. Now it's no longer pink. It's coming off really nicely as well though because there are a bit of prep work on it with the other stuff. Oh yeah. That's come up an absolute treat. What a difference. Oh, you go and look at this <laughs> the wing on the side now the difference between the two superb really happy with that result gonna do the wings now aside from the fact we keep getting little rain showers we're making good progress I am now on to the final stage of this just taking the carnauba wax the final coat off look at that that was almost white before fantastic right up the door pillars oh yeah i hope you can see the difference in that you have to be able to see that there between the, the roof and the edge that we've already done fantastic i mean flame red is a pain because it does go flame pink but it is also, I mean, you've got to say the most satisfying colour to actually polish up because it makes such a huge difference. I would also factor carmine red into that in old Mark II Cavalier. When I got mine, it was sort of browny orange and I got it to come up a beautiful bright red again and it maintained that. Look at that. What a difference. Got a flat bit of the, the cloth 
and then go down it with your hand and get it kind of and you'll see it as you're taking it off when you've done enough because sometimes it does get drips of water in it that come out the door handles and things and you've got to kind of go over it a bit extra like there it just keeps dripping out the door handle now look at that colour difference between that back quarter and the boot lid now and the roof oh wow this is going to look great when it's done Right, let's go and do this other side. Still lifting oxidised. Vauxhall badge being reapplied after it fell off. Would it even fall off? I don't know. Well then how can you No, no, I don't remember not. It was the Astra. Stevie thought it was in park and it wasn't and then it went and shot backwards and hit this and knocked the badge off it. There we go. Reapplied. Polishing's going well down the side. Just got the boot in the roof to go. Can I just part way through it? What did I do with this? Yeah, it's looking not bad. Just got to go into the roof now. The and you're going to clean the windows. Yeah, and you can see shininess, dullness, mega dullness. So, go into that now. I'm not sure how effective this liquid clay bar stuff is, but I'm bound to be doing something to try take some of the contaminants and roughness off it and then give it a hit with some cutting polish. I'll just do the bootleg by hand because it's such a small area that the the sponge and the the buffer's just going to explode everywhere hitting the badges and the number plate and all that. Yeah. So, I'll give this a bit of a liquid clay bar. I don't know where my clay bar is. I will find it when I'm not looking for it. I don't have to worry. I mean, it is taking little tar spots and that off the back. It's pretty clean there now, so yeah, I just wipe it down and hit it with some polish in the roof. You're going to have to get a new aerial for this. It went yeet. Well, it did. Cool. That'll screw out the end easy enough anyway. It needs a new grommet round it. It's all rotted away. Alright then. That's a bit of a... Well, that's an improvement already. By hand as well. Yeah, we'll get some... A dose of cutting polish onto this and then some carnauba wax to finish it off I've still got the I'll do the bumpers if I've got any bumper trim stuff as well we'll blacken them up because so I don't want to fit the bumpers that we've got there now because I'm missing a toe and eye cover for the back and I need a different grill for the front um, well, the roof was definitely the worst bit it's still kind of contaminated, but after it's been, it's had a good buff. Uh, and I've just got the polish on it now, about to take it off, giving the rest about a second coat of carnauba wax. Because it all got covered again anyway with the water spraying. And I was doing the rest of it, but two coats will be good. Build up some protection on the paint and yeah I mean coming up really nicely looking forward to seeing what this is going to be like finished just shot this. the car's pretty much all polished now I'm just hitting it with some of this chrome trim gel which is what I've got 
people are always posting up whenever I use this that I should use something else but this is what I have at the moment so that's what's getting used should probably try and put a heat gun onto these trims here because they are extremely faded and this one needs screwed on but you know that's what it is that's the course I had a polish up now I'm gonna head down the unit see if I can find the coil pack for it because it's been running on three on and off I uh, think that's a good result you know like I said not a valitor or detailer but I mean you could spend days on it but that's good progress it's a good start I like to go back over it again especially bits like the roof things like that really take some time on it but it's important to you know make a start and that's moved things on considerably it's now bright shiny red i'm just taking the freshly polished corsa down the unit and it ran on four cylinders for about a minute two about two or three minutes because it went on and off yeah it's just on three cylinders now though i don't know why hoping it's a coil pack could it ever be that simple i mean it's not happy i mean this car was pretty fast it is still quite fast. That's, no. fit, that's a fit to the field. Oh, that's dirt. That's alright. If it was on four cylinders, it would be. be four gone. cylinders would be flying up the hill. It'd be gone by now. But it's not, it's just running on the buddy three all the time, so we we'll have to find out what's. I mean, to be fair, in the, fu in the future it's always going to get um, engines fucked. Doesn't seem very happy. Let's just hope it's on a... Um, let's just hope it's a coil pad. That would be good to know. Yeah, it's running on three cylinders all the time. I've not been down here for weeks. So, but it was all going on. Oh, my poor Cavalier CD panels. Cool, well I'm just removing the coil pack from the 1600 engine I bought a while ago to get bits for Kenzo's Nova and this 1600 may well end up in The Corsa? No Yeah, but may well end up in the Corsa Is that a Saab engine? There's a Saab engine behind there, yes which um, could go into something at some point but I don't know Jesus, was that oh, your that was phone? phone? That's right could it be as easy as this, or do we have some other problem? Well, let's hope it's a single yeah, I've had bothered with injectors and Kenzo's, but this one was that one was parked up and left idle. This one has been running regularly, and I don't see why it would suddenly drop an injector. It's usually a problem that comes up when you've left them sitting for a long time. Well, I mean, it, it could have been sitting because of the guy that had it before. This, no, but this was getting used and I was using it, so... Fair pop. Yep. Right, coil pack installed. Where the hell are your keys? Yeah, they does say the keys would help. <laughs> Should I rev it? No, I'll just start it. See what happens. Usual nonsense, a set of completely and utterly blocked solid jets. That then cleared. Oh, was it though? No, it wasn't. It just blew it clean off of there. That's how backed up this is. Great. Where's the pipe for that? Great. It just blew that one off the end of it. It was that blocked up. Alright, hold on. Let's try this again then. 
empty one. Is this blew the other one off the side of that there now? That's how bad this is. Let's see what happens. It's going through. Right, so that one's supposedly working. Let's see. If oh, I'm what the hell happened there? I sprayed. All right. Yeah, that's. That's they're both working. Yeah, point it at the point the GoPro there. Right, so they're supposedly both blasting now. Yep. Okay, so let's go and. <laughs> see what happens. Put the ignition. Right, try and spray it. Yeah, that's it. Pull it towards you. Right, that's okay. Stop the now. Switch it off. Okay, one of each working now. Still want to get them both working. Oh, there we go. That one's coming back as well. Okay, right. I'm going to keep going blasting them out. Blastage take four. What we got now? Spray them. Two on that side, one on that side. I mean, that's about the best it's ever been, but it's never lasted before. Right, stop. In. Oh, four of them working. Hey. It's only taken about six blasts out. Yeah, I think that's about as good as we're going to get it for now. They're both working properly. All four jets. All right, cool. I do have a confession that I did cut an access plate in the bonnet to be able to get to those hoses because... Well, the hell's going to look in there? So why not yeah, exactly. I don't care. But I'm going to go and stick a little bit of paint around that so it doesn't rust and go and plumb these in correctly how they're supposed to be. Okay, so... Are they real straight? That's great. Yeah. I actually really like this steering wheel. Then why are they leaving it on? Because I actually need to remember to go and straighten it up actually because it was out by a notch. Because, but I also like the fact I've now got a Corsa SRI steering wheel for it. And they're pretty rare so... I will use this in something else because this is like new. Look at all the grip on it. It's absolutely mint. That one's a bit more worn but... It's correct for a Corsa. So did I leave the steering wheel on the last time? You didn't even tighten it. Ah, I did tighten it. I just took it off with a ratchet but... I just tweaked it down into position because I wasn't sure I had it on completely straight. If you go and ram them right down super tight, they can be difficult to take back off again. But if you do that, then it's not as much of a stress. This is a class steering wheel like. I do like it a lot. Mark II Cavalier SRI Stroke. Mark II Astra SRI. GTE. Belmont SRI. Loads of cars. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a nut in here, but not a washer. Right, so if we put you on directly straight, that should be That's it. lined up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, stop it. There we go. I wonder, because, no, that spring's the same. All right, okay. There we go, Corsa SRI style steering wheel. That works. <laughs> installed. Hooray! Sounds like it's running on four, which is nice. All right, so this, of course, is my Astra CDX. I spot this button. This, of course, is the Astra CDX 1.6 Auto I bought at the start of 2022. I've not really got round to sorting it out, but the dash needs to come out to replace the heater matrix. Um, and I need to manualise it. I've got the 2 litre Ecotech sitting there, so I will get round to doing it 
just shortly. I need to spend a good couple of days blitzing it, really. I've got a pile of parts here for it. I was thinking about five studying it. Probably not going to do that now, as I have a spare set of rear brakes. They came off fab when it broke, so I could rear disc this and leave it for stud. Hoping to paint it um, solar yellow, that would be nice. Because it would be a lovely car with the heated leather and the air conditioning when it's done. Meanwhile, Le Cave, waiting for bits, but you'll be getting some big updates on this soon. I've got the door off it to finish welding up that bit at the back, and then I've got the spring seats to do. The idea is, once I get this on the road, the diplomat will come off the road to get some work done for the bodywork on it, and I will use this as number one cavalier for the time being, so... Yes. Right, time to get packed up in the newly shiny Corsa and get up the road. Coil pack installed, and we're back on four cylinders. Yeah, hey. So I was running really well since we swapped the coil pack over Back on four cylinders, got the new steering wheel in there Next progress with this will be swapping the winter wheels off it I'm not sure what wheels will be going on it Fitting cruise control into it And if I get a spare couple of days I'll get the 1600 in the Astra gearbox in it as well Give it an extra 20 horsepower and a lot longer legs But, oh yeah, and I've also got some uh, gas shocks for the front of it To add from a very low mileage spot So, happy days! Catch you next time. sunlight after a downpour look at that sky crazy I'm going to Bob Oi. I've already chucked you out the Omega come on can you please vacate thank you I don't want to take you down the unit although you probably wouldn't even